Today I'm going to teach you how to remove a bra. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. We make learning Photoshop and photography fun. Today we got a really cool episode. We're actually going to be removing a bra strap and we're going to be doing it in Photoshop. For some of you pervy fellows out there, you're probably closing this video right about now. But for the rest of you who actually want to learn, this is something that's going to come up quite a bit when you're taking photos of people. There's often going to be like a little detail or something like that that's you're just going to you're going to be photographing. You're going to be thinking about other things like the lighting. Are they smiling? Am I you know getting all my settings right? And a lot of the time you miss a lot of like little things like people's bra strap showing or like a little bit of hair and things like that. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those things. It's actually a lot easier than you'd think. So this is our image for today and I love this image. The colors in it really work well. These kind of like magentas with the cyans and uh, this was taken by Tamara who's one of our contest winners for this last week contest. If you guys want to enter our contest just go to flurn.com and click on the contest category and you guys can enter our contest and win Flurn Pro tutorials. Okay now to get rid of this is actually really really simple and I'm going to do something I've been telling people for years to not use the spot healing brush tool. Generally I use the healing brush tool where you can like sample an area and paint it away. Like if I wanted to for instance get rid of this little guy I could sample this area and paint away and that would go away. Now if you want to get rid of something like a bra strap usually with like a healing brush tool or something like that like I'll sample here and then paint away over there it's just going to do a really weird job. You can see it just kind of like kind of blends and it's just not going to be that good. Well, they changed something with the new Photoshop. So I'm going to go to my spot healing brush tool and they added this thing called content aware. Now content aware is going to try to figure out what's actually around it and try to repair the image based on what's actually there. And this just totally blew my mind. I was like, okay, I've been telling people not to use the spot healing brush tool for years and now they changed it and they made it way, way better. So I got to teach you guys how to use it. It's super simple. So click on your spot healing brush. You can be on a new layer and if you're on a new layer just make sure you have this sample all layers checked. That's the, that's the key there. And then all you have to do is paint over the thing that you don't want to be there anymore. So I'm just going to start um, painting over here. It's kind of showing up gray and just in my history using Photoshop it's better to kind of take things like part by part. So I'm just going to kind of paint over there and then let go and there it is. It's, it's gone. It's just, just an awesome job. And then I'm going to start painting right down here as well and when I let go it did it down there as well. Now if there's any areas that you know didn't quite do perfectly all you have to do is like go over them again and I find that it's actually doing like a pretty good job at just fixing it over and over again. It's like the content aware is just it's blowing my mind how good it is. Um, it's not going to be like perfect every single time but like you know just draw over it again and it's going to do better and I haven't put this tool through like all of the tests but um, so far it's doing really really well. So the content aware selection with the spot healing brush tool looks like it's going to be a really good tool for taking out things like bra straps or any other distractions you have. And if you thought this episode was going to be more complicated than that, I'm sorry. It wasn't. It's easy to do this. But if you guys do want to learn a ton more about Photoshop, be sure to check out. We've actually got a new pro tutorial releasing today. It's Photoshop 201. We teach you guys how to like separate people out from the background and retouch and all kinds of amazing things. And it's on sale right now. So that's really cool as well. Guys, if there's anything else that you want to learn here on Flurn.com, just leave us a comment right down below and say like, oh, I want to learn how to do this, or I always have this problem. Do you have a fix for it? And then we'll make an episode teaching you guys how to do whatever it is that you want. And if you like what we've got going on here at Flurn, just subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be updated and leave us a comment and share us with your friends. And join us in the Bahamas because we're doing a workshop really soon. And you can click on the screen right now to figure out how you can hang out with me in the Bahamas, in the sun. It'll be fun. I guarantee see uh, a, a ton. Bye guys, I'll learn you later. <laughs> All right, episode's done. That was a lot of fun. Wait, join me, the join me in the Bahamas. What a good idea. But don't drink the water or you'll get diarrhea.